Across the vast expanse of rural America, over 85,000 dams stretch as far as the eye can see. They provide essential services such as water storage, flood protection, and hydroelectric power generation to millions of citizens. However, as the clock ticks ever closer to midnight, these dams face an unprecedented challenge, decay and disrepair. Neglected and underfunded maintenance has left many of these critical pieces of infrastructure vulnerable to failure, putting countless lives at risk and threatening to cripple local economies in their wake. With each passing year, the problem grows larger and more urgent, begging the question, how long can we continue to turn a blind eye to America's crumbling dams before it's too late? Hello everyone and welcome back to Civil Mentors. In today's episode, we'll reveal the jaw-dropping cost of fixing these ticking time bombs and why it's so important to take action. Picture this, over 88,600 dams scattered across the United States, many of them well past their expiration dates. With an average age of 61 years, these aging giants face the risk of failure, endangering lives, property, and the environment. But what's the price tag for fixing this colossal problem? A staggering $157.5 billion. Yeah, you heard it right. According to a report released by the Association of State Dam Safety Officials in February 2023, it would cost around $157.5 billion to rehabilitate the nation's 88,616 deficient non-federal dams. This sum is significantly higher than the amount of federal assistance available to do so. The price tag to remediate just the most critical dams is estimated at $34.1 billion. As dams grow older, they can become ticking time bombs, threatening lives, property, and the environment. The number of high-hazard potential dams, where failure could likely result in loss of life, has increased by almost 20% to over 16,000 in the last 10 years. With every passing year, the stakes grow higher. It's a race against time to avert disaster. The Federal Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act includes funding for dam rehabilitation. However, the study indicates that the allocated $4 billion investment over five years is not nearly enough to address even the most dangerous of dams. In addition, the lack of funding and insufficient oversight have contributed to the decline of dam safety. A report by the American Society of Civil Engineers, or ASCE, in 2021 gave the nation's dams a D grade for their overall condition and estimated that over 2,000 dams in the U.S. were deemed to be in high hazard potential condition. Not only are costs of dam rehabilitation high, but they are also rising significantly. That's due to a combination of factors, including higher costs for construction materials and labor, and the increased breadth of engineering studies and analyses. ASDSO also found funding and permitting constraints contribute significantly to the slower rate of completion. As maintenance, repair, and rehabilitation work is deferred, costs will only rise further. One example of a dam that needs significant repairs is the Oroville Dam in California. In 2017, heavy rainfall caused the dam's spillway to fail, leading to an emergency evacuation of nearly 200,000 people. The cost of repairing the Oroville Dam was estimated to be around $1.1 billion. Another example is the Edenville Dam in Michigan, which failed in 2020, leading to flooding and property damage. This dam had been cited for safety violations for years before its failure. The cost of repairing or replacing the Edenville Dam was estimated to be around $282 million. When a dam fails, it's not just the nearby communities that are affected. The ripple effects can be felt far and wide, impacting water supply, flood control, recreation, and clean, renewable energy. Imagine entire towns submerged, ecosystems devastated, and critical infrastructure washed away. That's the reality we face if we don't tackle this issue head on. So what is causing the deterioration of these dams? One of the main causes is aging infrastructure. Many of the dams were built decades ago and have not been adequately maintained or updated. Climate change adds another layer of complexity to the dam crisis. With more frequent and severe weather events, such as droughts and extreme rainfall, the pressure on our aging dams continues to mount. Addressing the dam crisis isn't just about fixing what's broken. It's also about building resilience to face the challenges of a changing climate. So, what can be done to address the issue of crumbling dams in the U.S.? One solution is to increase funding for dam repairs and rehabilitation. To ensure the safety of our nation's dams, we must maintain high funding levels to address the thousands of dams needing rehabilitation. Another solution is to improve dam safety regulations and oversight. 
The Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, or FERC, is responsible for regulating dams used for hydropower generation, but many dams are not subject to federal oversight. Increasing federal oversight of dams could help prevent failures and improve public safety. It's also essential to educate the public about the importance of dam safety and the potential consequences of failing to maintain these structures. Many people are unaware of the risks posed by deficient dams, and greater public awareness could lead to increased support for funding and regulation. The state of U.S. dams is a significant concern, with many structures in need of repair and rehabilitation, and the cost of repairing these dams is significant. But the consequences of not addressing the issue are far more severe. By increasing funding for repairs, improving regulations and oversight, and investing in infrastructure updates, we can ensure the safety and stability of our nation's dams for generations to come. We must act now to prevent catastrophic failures. It's a battle we must face together for the safety of our communities and the future of our environment. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Don't hesitate to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Till next time, peace out.